space weather this week calms down quite a bit, but there's still a little bit of activity. As we take a look at the Earth-facing disk, you can see back on the 24th, old region 3062 fires off a solar storm. You can actually watch the blast wave ripple up to the north a little bit. This solar storm is not Earth-directed. It's actually going to the east of Earth, but we're probably feeling a little bit of an impact from it right now and will uh, feel a bit of that graze over the next day or so, which could bump up activity just a tiny bit, but probably not enough to bring us some significant aurora. But that's not the only story. On the 26th, you can see old region 3060 firing off a near M-class flare. This is kind of a goodbye kiss before this region rotates to the sun's far side. But since then, we really have been uh, pretty clear when it comes to big flares. Our big flare risk has dropped way down and we only have three active regions on the Earth-facing disk. But there is still a chance for more activity. You can see this big uh, coronal hole here in the south. And as we flip to our uh, far-sighted sun, you can actually see it a little bit better. This is stereo A and it's looking at the sun a little bit from the side. You can see that big coronal hole kind of rotating across the center disk here in stereo's view. And that's going to bring us some solar storming probably in about uh, five or six days, maybe a week's time. And that could give us a decent amount of aurora, possibly down to mid-latitudes. And then as you look past that, you can actually see on the east limb of the sun, in stereo's view, we do have more active regions that are going to be rotating into Earth view. And that's great news for amateur radio operators and emergency responders. It's going to boost that solar flux back up because believe it or not, we've actually tanked back into the high 90s. And we need to get back up into triple digits to keep the radio propagation on Earth side in the good range. For more details on this week's space weather, including how the fast wind from that coronal hole might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.